Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As promised, I said I was going to attempt at milling this log. This is a blackwood I was talking about in my previous video. Uh, here's the rail all finished up. I've made a few changes to it. Um, as you can see, these were the adjustments. So they were the original ones that I've made up for it, which were a lot smaller, and I just extended them and made it few others which are 100 mil long just so I, if I have an uneven log I can change it up so the ones on the left were the standard ones and then the ones on the right are the ones that I made up but anyway I'll show you guys where I'm at so far anyway here's the board and this is what I used the high lift jack there and the strap just to get it off the ground a little bit and then I couldn't get enough leverage out of it and enough height so what I did was like I said I cut a wedge I don't know if you can see there but basically just a flat spot so I could get the high lift jack into it and prop it up I had to change out the other bar as I had a 30 inch bar on it with a 404 sprocket so I've changed that now to a 36 inch bar with a 38. Here's the saw I'm going to be running, which is a Steel MS661C. It's got the 36 inch bar with the 38 chain, as I was saying. And here is the Granberg mill. The log's a little uneven, so I need the higher adjustment. And in this back one, I've got a smaller one and a large one on the side. A larger one on the side just to account for the height. And I've just made a little stake to hold the log on. So that's just biting into the log. I've hammered it in just to stop it from going back and forth. So I'll just run the level over, use it as a straight edge so I know it's not going to come in contact with the chainsaw mill when I slide across the rail. And I'll just use that to make sure it doesn't hit. So we're clear on the first lot. And we've got a smooth pass. I'm just going to adjust the mill to 70 millimeters just to allow for the warpage as I only want like a 50 mil slab for a chainsaw, uh, for the chainsaw mill. I only want 50 mils, um, but basically as it's drying out, it's just to help with the warpage and if it tries to bow or anything, God, that way I can just bone it off and get like the desired uh, thickness that I want. And I'll warm up the chainsaw and we'll get started. So basically, the mill has marks uh, here. So you can see on this side, there's all marks for the measurements and how thick it seems to be in inches. So we're just going to back these off to get the desired height. So by raising both sides so the first cut's going to have to be a little bit deeper as I'm going to have to account for the uh, adjustments because I've made them to 100 millimeters so I'm probably going to have to take the first cut to be bigger than four inches then I'll readjust to the 50 mil thickness that I want. So we'll start off by going probably five inches deep.
Now I'm doing the same on this side. Now bang on five inches for now. I'm just going to warm up the chain tool for a little bit and I'll get it on the rail and make a start with the first cut. So I've warmed up the chainsaw, uh, I've just made up some wedges out of wood just for some spaces so as I'm going to be moving the chainsaw along with the mill, basically it gets so far along and there's going to be a pinch point where the log tries to pinch on the chain so we don't want that so by sliding these wedges into the end it's going to stop it from pinching and make a smooth cut going through and stop there from being any tension or anything like that <coughs> because basically we don't want any pressure on the blade more than it needs as it's going to be doing a lot of cutting anyway so the first angle will be this one just for the top cut and then I'll probably move to the rear just to show you guys from a different perspective anyway. guys that's the uh, first cut done uh, I haven't used these much before but sort of picking it up as I go I found out the spacing every foot or so on each side as I was cutting was sufficient enough to stop the uh, pinching along with that uh, I found that by adding angle on the chainsaw just a little bit actually made it cut a lot better instead of bogging down when I was keeping it straight um, feel free to leave some tips anything like that I don't I don't mind a bit of criticism goes a long way also helps me out in the long run so now I'm just gonna remove the first cut rail and we'll inspect my first <laughs> cut with it I guess see how good it is and 
or how bad it is. All right. I'm just gonna shuffle this over and see if I can get it off. There's the top card. It's actually turned out alright. There's a bit of a low point at the end of the cut as I cut it a little bit too long and just had to uh, do it by eye sort of thing at the end, but that's okay. I can fix that out as I cut it out, but I'm just going to move this one out of the way. Um, can't really see much at the moment so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some water and a brush. I'm pretty happy with how it's came out. It's actually quite smooth apart from here but that's alright that can plane out. I'll just go get some water and a brush and I'll show you guys. Right, I've just gonna, got a bit of a brush. and a bit of water just to show you guys what it can look like so off a bit of a figure and I'll do the same with the next cut So here we are. As you can see at the end of the cut there it looks quite nice. It's got good figure but uh, the next cut will reveal a lot more, so we'll see how we go. Righto. So I just need to adjust this again to do the heights. And like I said before, I'm going to go to about 70 mil. And then we'll get started on this next cut. I'm just going to uh, do another check just to make sure these uh, brackets here are in the right position and they're not going to. Uh, slide off and hit the chain as I can see one's made its way loose from the vibration the chain is also loose as well so I'll just quickly fix that up Okay, so I've tightened up the chain, I just uh, readjusted the mill as the mill was sliding a little bit. So I've moved it back down, hopefully it's not enough pressure to stop it from going in the guide. I'll start her up in a sec, I've just adjusted the height that I'm wanting to achieve. I'll chuck a little bit more fuel in and then we'll get started on this next cut.
uh, probably won't be able to lift this one so what we'll do is just shuffle it off and reveal what's underneath. heavy looking a lot better now with the last slab I got stuck at the end as there was a few little bits of wood sticking up and the mill didn't want to go past so I'm just going to have to chip off the end as I was saying it doesn't go right to the end wow that's actually very beautiful now this is going to be my last cut on camera and then I'm going to do the rest off camera but I'll chuck a bit of water on there just to show you guys how pretty this timber is. Right, hey guys, so I'm quite impressed with the outcome considering I haven't really used these much and the black wood has quite a nice figure to it I'm not sure if I can find a decent angle that doesn't reflect it but it's turned out really nice Excuse the heavy breathing, I'm a bit puffed after lugging around the chainsaw and everything. But I think that'll do it for today's video. Thanks for watching guys.